Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you all are fine and doing great. Today we are going going to discuss this fraction trouble problem of GFG. So let's move on to the problem guys. So here we are given N and D, N and D, uh, and we have to find out uh, other like we are given N and D and divided by D. We are given this fraction and we have to find out the other fraction P divided by Q so that it is less than N by D. Okay, this is condition given to us like n by d given to us and we have to find out p upon q. But here is a condition that our d can be up to d can be up to 10 raised to the power 5 or 4 it is I just remember 4. Okay, 10 raised to the power 4 d. Okay guys, so guys how we will do it. So first of all, first of all we will start a loop from q is equal to 10,000 to q greater than is equal to 1 ok guys so first of all what we are doing we are finding we are finding the required the required fraction how we are taking a double type variable and putting fraction of n by d in it putting fraction of n by d in it ok now for each q what we are doing like in this loop what we are doing we are taken a variable p and find out the numerator like q into require q into require this is a typical mathematical problem okay then then guys okay first of all i i have q this i found p so means i have found p and q of my problem now for this condition to be satisfied we can say this condition is satisfied if my pd less than n by q less than n q okay this condition set by my p into d less than n into q okay guys we just doing cross multiplication so similarly if we check here you can see i am checking to variable p d n q i in p d i am putting p into d n q i am putting n into q i am checking if my p d is less than n into q is less than n into q then what we are doing if this condition is satisfied if this condition is satisfied then i am checking like if my remainder i am taking a and b as my original answer like i am updated again and again so p and q are my temporary variables and a and b are my permanent answer okay which can which will change with each iteration or each value of q okay guys so now if this value is satisfied means pd less than nq then what i am doing i will check if my a is equal to minus one means i don't found any pair which is uh, satisfy my required then what i am doing I am in a slice a is equal to q and b is equal to uh, sorry a is equal to p and b is equal to q else while else while I am checking what I am checking now suppose suppose I have already have a pair a by b I have already have a pair which is less than n by d which is less than n by d now we make other pair we make other pair p by q which is also less than n by d how it is less than n by d because we are inside the condition and we are checking this condition here okay so we can say we have already have a value in a means a is not equal to minus and we have initialized a and now we have other value of p and q now what we will do now we will check so we will check if my if my p divided by q is greater than my a divided by b means my fraction of because both are less than n by d so i will take the maximum fraction if a by b is greater then i will take it as well i will change my a b to p by q okay now i will check if my p by q fraction is less than is greater than a by b so then i will update my a if this condition satisfy then i will update my a to p and b to q means my fraction got updated as well if this condition falls i will not doing this condition and just continue with next iteration uh, continue with next iteration okay now how i will check this condition similarly as this for this it should be like if pb should be greater than aq if my p by q pb by q fraction greater than a by b then my pb pb should be greater than qa or aq okay guys so if this is then i will update this and just continue and at last i just return my answer in form of vector a and b in form of a by b okay so here you can see i am taken uh, current is of no work 
so here i am taken two variable a and b means my final and numerator and denominator and i am taken required my n by d means required ratio which i need now i will run a loop from 10000 to 1 okay you can run uh, inverse loop also like from 1 to 10000 it can also work uh, now p is equal to q into required uh, means i am generating numerator according to the required uh, required ratio okay q into q now i am taken two variable pq and d what is pq and d uh, pd and q pd and q now pd is equal to p into d and nq is equal to n into q here p into d is value and pd is variable means pd pd means multiplication of these both term this both term okay and if my pd is less than n by q means if this condition is satisfied my fraction can be a valid fraction then if my a is equal to minus 1 means it is not initialized at this is the first fraction p by q which is satisfy my equation i will initialize my a and b elsewhere i will check if my pb if my pb is greater than aq if my p into b is greater than a into q greater than a into q then i will update my a and b and after completion all of the work i just return a and b so this is how i am doing it now i am compiling it compilation takes some time i don't know why I request okay you can see the correct output now i am trying to submit it okay okay guys so you can see all the 103 test cases pass out okay so i hope you will understand the problem and if you have any doubt then just comment out i will try my best to explain you this is a typical mathematical problem okay so just based on some comparison of n by d p by q a by b okay so i hope you will, you will understand the concept and if you have any doubt then just comment out i will try my best to explain you meanwhile please subscribe the channel like the video and comment out if you like the content and you can check out my channel for more these type of videos i upload daily uh, problem of the dissolution of gfg so please please subscribe my channel thank you for watching this guys stay tuned